Good morning and welcome. Welcome to the Ideal Business for Teachers. Just checking all of our broadcast settings, making sure that we are live. I believe we are. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you all with us. Thank you for joining us for the Ideal Business for Teachers. My name is Josh Clark. I have the privilege of serving as your host as your MC for this webinar live broadcast. Some of you are watching us via Zoom. Others are watching the live broadcast in the Ideal Facebook group, the Ideal Business Facebook group. But today, as the title uh, indicates, we're going to be hearing from a bunch of teachers who are experiencing and are, are experiencing, personally experiencing this business to be the Ideal Business in terms of income, impact, and freedom. And I'd like to just take you for a uh, just a kind of a quick introduction to why I'm so glad that you're here, why I think it's um, vital that uh, you spend a few minutes with us today, and, and why I would encourage you to not only watch this and consider whether this might be the ideal business for you, but also consider whether this might be something you want to invite other teacher friends to take a look at. And uh, first, I'd like to just quickly share with you my own mother's story. Um, she is a teacher, both um, by education, um, as well as she ended up devoting her career to teaching her own children, 10 children. As an educator, she decided that uh, she thought that was the best um, option for our family. So um, talk about, I think she discovered that you know, homeschooling her own children to be even more challenging than, um, than, than probably all 10 of us, probably more challenging than a classroom. But um, anyway, I'm so thankful that uh, for my mother and her devotion to her family and uh, the excellence she poured into, into all of us. But let me tell you, this is where I bring up her story. Not only is she an educator um, by education and uh, through educating us, um, but she had an incredible health transformation thanks to the products that this company um, provides and the solutions that we provide in the marketplace. My mother has one kidney, no spleen, and missing an adrenal and had a lot of health challenges. And we were doing everything we knew to eat healthy. We ended up becoming health nuts just to help give my mother the best chance and uh, in the process of that, somebody shared these products with our family 28 years ago. And uh, I'm so thankful that they did because my parents, while they weren't interested at the time, thankfully they listened and it piqued their interest. They went on to research these products. My mother got started and completely transformed her health. And this is her just a few years ago running the largest 10K road race in the world. In, in the absolute picture of health, enjoying her best health ever, her best years. And she's found this to be the ideal business for her as well. She regained her health and then she went on to share these products and this business with so many others around the world. So that's where my passion comes from. I actually now work for, I serve as the vice president for Neolife North America for the very company that gave my mother back her health and led to an incredible career for her because um, there wasn't going to be any uh, pension. There wasn't going to be any retirement having devoted her career to, uh, to teaching her, her children. So um, this business provided that. Um, but I'd like to share with you how this, in addition to what you're going to hear today from so many teachers from all over North America and around the world, as you hear from them talk about why this is the ideal business, I also want to begin by turning our attention to a story uh, in Time Magazine just a couple years ago. And it was by Kate Riley. And uh, she told a story of teachers across America and their plight. And the front page cover of Time Magazine, it said, I have a master's degree, 16 years of experience. I work two extra jobs and donate blood plasma to pay the bills. I'm a teacher in America. And uh, it just talked about and told her story and so many other teachers how regardless of where you are, of course, state by state, it's different. And uh, Canada versus the U.S. is different. But still, I think we could all agree that teachers don't go into education to get, you know, to get rich for necessarily for a great retirement 
for you know those reasons. They they go into it because they want to make a difference. They want to make an impact. And so, regardless of of where you live, I think we can all agree on that that teachers deserve the best. And I'm excited for teachers today to discover how they can have a part time business that could remain a part time business, or it could even turn into so much more. Um, at any point if they choose. So you're going to meet part-time teachers. You're going to meet full, excuse me, you're going to meet uh, teachers who are part-time uh, building this business and teachers who are full-time building this business. And uh, all of them will have a unique story to share with you and how this has been the ideal business for them. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited to uh, first up introduce to you Stephen Darrington a teacher from Wichita, Kansas. And I'm going to ask each of these teachers to kind of in rapid fire share with us in their own words how this has been the ideal business for them. Stephen, thank hey, you for joining us. Please thank take you. it away. Thank you. All right. So so folks, I'm I'm kind of the typical Midwestern guy. You know, I was raised in a very caring and loving community and and I felt like people invested a lot in me as a child and I wanted to give back to my community. So I chose teaching very much on purpose. And um, after 20 years in the classroom, I can say, I've gotten everything out of my teaching career that I wanted. It's all the super rewarding components have been there, but, but all of the financial hardship that Josh just uh, mentioned has been part of that 20 year experience. And so, um, your experience as a teacher may be like mine. I bounced around from extra to extra to extra, looking for a way to plug the financial hole. And each opportunity that I pursued created some other really negative something, uh, whether that was I didn't have any extra time at all, or I was working odd hours, or um, I was just experiencing lots of stress. Um, I found myself going from, you know, option A to B to C. And, and what I was really doing was just playing a game of whack-a-mole, trying to uh, stamp out the newly created problem with each opportunity. And that did not stop until I got involved in Neolife. And I was really fortunate that a pair of neighbors who had been in the business for over 40 years approached me and said, check this out, you know. Um, and I was skeptical. I was certainly skeptical. Uh, but I looked at the products and I looked at the science and I'm, I'm a researcher. So by golly, I was really blown away by the science. And then I looked at the compensation plan and I, I really understood at that point that I could create a current income and it would also be like a retirement. And um, I was hooked. I said, I'm in. And uh, I started using the products. I I noticed I felt like Superman and then I got all these um, financial rewards and positive experiences with the community. And I said, this is going to be my future. And so I'm actively working on making Neolife my full-time career. Wow, Stephen, that's incredible. And I love how you got to have the opportunity to witness, um, you had the opportunity to witness this business um, as you saw the lifestyle of the neighbors across the street. Or yes. I forget, besides you or across the street? Uh, just, just across the street. Just, just across the street. street. Yeah. So, so I mean, now, you could, you could be the ultimate skeptic, and uh, you know, and researcher, and just watch them. Yes. And then decide if this is best for you. So you know better than most um, when you jumped into this that this would be the ideal business for you. I, and uh, are I, you enjoying I, the income and the impact? Yes. And and I'll just say one more thing, Josh. I'm I'm planning on living to a, a healthy ninety seven, like my neighbors who got me involved. That's awesome. And how old are they now? Uh, Ralph is 97 and Jan is uh, 90. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Unbelievable. And I've had the privilege, of course, uh, to know them as well. And uh, absolutely, I agree with you. Absolutely amazing to see the picture of health. In fact, I remember the first time I met them, I told my wife, this is amazing. Like you said, this will be us one day, right. thanks to these incredible products. And now we get to share them and help share them with others and help them at the same time. Well, thank you so much for being with us and sharing your story, Stephen, and uh, congrats on all of your success. Thank you. All right, folks, now we're going to go up to Canada. And uh, again, one of the reasons I'm so excited to hear from all these teachers, not only do we all love teachers, but a study that's been done in our industry, several decades study found that teachers 
were the profession that had the highest success rates. And you might think salespeople, no, it's teachers and, and other careers that might surprise you. And so uh, Shelly, please take it away and share with us how this business has been ideal for you. And uh, certainly to begin with your background, uh, where, where you're joining us from in Canada. Thanks, Josh. And I'm going to say my story is very different just because in Canada, um, we are paid well and we do have a pension as a teacher. So it's a little bit different uh, from what Stephen was just mentioning, but certainly still very impactful as to why this is important. Um, so my name is Shelley Sheridan and I live in Alora, Ontario, Canada. I've been married for 35 years to my husband, Brad, and we have a 13 year old dog named Abby. And we have one son and daughter-in-law and four grand doggies who live out west on the uh, western side of Canada in British Columbia. And I learned about Neolife 12 years ago while I was still teaching. And I loved the products because they worked for me. And then I learned from more about more science and about the integrity of the company. And wow, as an educator, um, I, want, I knew that this information would benefit other people. And I really wanted to share. And so I did. And some extra part-time income started to build, and I used the money for products for my family and for a yearly mom-son getaway with Mitchell. And then five years ago, I retired, and I lost a lot of the connections with the colleagues and the friends since we moved to a different town, and I was wondering what my purpose was now. Plus, our son put the roots down in BC after finishing university, so those were three huge changes for me, and thank goodness for my Neolife business. The wonderful friendships, the great uplifting supportive community, and definitely I now had a purpose, educating people in my community through social media and about the Neolife whole food difference and the opportunity. And the income just keeps growing and it allows me to donate to not-for-profit organizations that are important to me. It pays for travel so I can stay connected with Mitchell and Kelsey. And when I broke my leg three and a half months ago, the residual income just kept on coming while I was healing. And the final thing, especially in Canada, I love the tax write-offs. So as for the future, I'm just really excited. Folks more than, people are focused more than ever on their health and on side gigs, and they're looking for opportunities. And since this is a business that you can do from home, on your phone, or traveling, then either way, it's really, really perfect. I love it. Thank you for sharing this story with us, um, Shelly. And let me ask you, you spoke about this being the perfect business to be able to do uh, from home, home-based business it can be. And have you found that to be especially, um, are you especially grateful for that in the midst of this COVID pandemic that has had most of the world shut down and certainly in Canada still shut down. Have, uh, have you suffered at all uh, in terms of building your business? Absolutely not, because now, I mean, reaching out to see how people are doing is so important and just doing like wellness checks with people and they're asking more questions. And it's nice because my business has grown just by caring about people and helping them. And I've done it all through technology on my phone, over the computer. And so, yeah, my business has grown. And yeah, so the pandemic hasn't affected me that way. I mean, obviously we're, we're at home and, and we're still staying at home no. uh, in Ontario, um, but I'm still being able to reach with other people, which is a wonderful way to stay social just for the whole mental health and, and connecting and, and growing a business. So it's been, um, it's been a difficult, challenging time, but it's been um, a, a rewarding time to be able to connect. Yes. Thank you, Shelly, for sharing that. So folks, you're hearing these, we have essential products. Uh, we've been labeled an essential business during this pandemic, which means that um, we have been, we've been busier than ever. Um, turnkey system business that can be built from anywhere. And Shelly, congrats on, again on the success you're having, the impact you're having on so many lives. All right, next, we're going to go back to the United States. We're going to go out to the West Coast and uh, hear from Debbie Plouffe. Debbie, thanks for joining us. Hi, Josh. <laughs> thanks for having me. I am in Clovis, California. 
I am a former uh, elementary teacher of uh, 30 years. And as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a teacher to educate and impact lives. But after 30 years of teaching, uh, I was exhausted uh, mentally, um, physically, emotionally. Uh, in fact, I can remember many times late afternoon lesson planning, I could just literally fall asleep in my chair you know, if I let myself and I was tired of the long extra hours put on and demands on us as teachers without compensation. Um, I uh, worked in a small rural charter school. I was maxed out on the pay scale, hadn't had a raise in several years, nor was there hope for one in the future. We were concerned, you know, how are we going to get our kids through college? How about our, our retirement years? Um, and then at uh, Neolife was introduced to me to help support my health. And with that, uh, as the time progressed, we started to earn some extra income to pay for the product, which grew uh, to help go on some nice vacations, which grew to help pay for our kids' college and some money down on a home. And we started to think, could this be our vi a viable source of income for our future? So I put my head down teaching and I put my head down in Neolife part-time for several years to where it matched my salary and I was able to exit uh, the teaching field. And within the year, it surpassed my salary. And it's been three years now. It's consistently stayed that way. And we're very grateful for Neolife because um, Josh, as you know, Bob was laid off in September due to uh, COVID restrictions. And we had to move from our, our friends, our church, our community to a new town. And we're concerned, you know, how, how are we going to do this? Well, Neolife has been a sole source of income for us. So we we're very grateful for that. Um, we have a plan for the future now. Uh, we love to travel uh, and it will provide for that. Uh, we have a plan for our retirement and we're just excited. Um, Neil Life has given us um, the power to uh, hope and dream again for our future. And we're just excited. So thanks, Josh, for letting me share. That's awesome, Debbie. And congrats on being able to, as you said, start this part-time, build it up to where it could replace your income. And I think that's such a beautiful thing that sometimes teaching, would you agree, could be for a season mm -hmm. of someone's life. Um, it may be for a particular season, you know, when different, maybe when the children are younger, or maybe later when the children are older, but it's not necessarily a career that everyone wants to do for their entire life, um, you know? And so I think it's, it's wonderful that you are able to build this part-time and have something you could transition to and could provide a retirement for your family, especially since, as you said, um, in your line of teaching uh, in private education, there wasn't a retirement. Is that is that what I understood? No, there was retirement, but not very much. We served much. in a missionary style camp, you know, so our pays were very low yeah. and uh, and we were called to that and we loved it, but you yeah. know, we, we wanted some extra for the future yeah. for our retirement. So. That's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story with us, Debbie. Thank you. Josh. And uh, now we're going to go around the world. I'm not sure if Isaac is with us. Uh, is is Isaac Dango? Is, are you with us from Nairobi, Kenya? We're in. Oh, this company is in over 50 countries around the world and expanding. And uh, so, are are you with us? I don't know that we have him with us yet. Okay, so I think um, we'll come back to that. Um, okay, next, we're going to go to Greg Perea. We're going to stay out on the, on the West Coast. Greg, are you there? Hey, Josh, how's it going? <laughs> oh, Greg, fantastic. Good to have you with us. Please share with us your story. Thank you. Um, my name is Greg. I am from La Mirada, California, and I am happily married to my wife, Elizabeth, who is also a teacher as well. And we have one son named John Paul, who's about 19 months. Um, how I got started with Neolife, it was more of a, a health concern. I was 50 pounds overweight. Um, <clears throat> long story short, Neolife has helped me get my health back on track. It has shown me a hope for a better future. And now we love to share it with others. And so funny thing, when, when everything happened, you know, a couple of years ago, with everything shutting down, that tr dramatically transformed the teaching profession. We had to learn Zoom. We had to do things online. And that was actually a key to help building our business um, as well as online, because we were doing we were doing uh, shake parties and things like that. Um, but uh, but with the onset of Zoom and technology, uh, we we're just be we we're just able to share more and more with people. And so you know we have a story to tell. Uh, people are looking for a health solution, 
And so we are just excited. And as being teachers, you know, we have, you know, different uh, breaks and, and schedules and things like that. So this is a perfect uh, job for anybody um, that has those pockets of time where you can make, uh, do it in the summer, do it on spring break, winter break. And we just make the time to make this priority to share with one another. And um, our, our other pain point is um, wanting to stay at home with our son. And we really want to homeschool our kid. Uh, with just everything going on in education. I work in, in the private sector. Uh, public education is not where we feel as a family we want to send our children. So we have a, a three, four-year plan to make this a sustainable income so at least one of us can stay home and be with our son. So I'm excited and, um, and looking forward to the future. That, that's awesome. And it's so neat how both you and your wife, both teachers, are able to do this together and as you said, build this up to where, where you can retire with this. And, uh, you know, I actually, I know, and you may as well, I know plenty of teachers. Um, this could be surprising to some, but I think it depends on, you know, where you're teaching, where you're at, where you live, uh, school districts that you're in. But uh, I know plenty of teachers who have done that, who have built this business up just as you are to be able to become a teacher at home. <laughs> so uh, that's awesome. Thank you, Josh. And uh, appreciate you jumping on and sharing your story with us. Okay, next. So folks, I think you're getting the idea that people from all walks of life, all over the world, I'm still hoping that we have Isaac join us, who's built a business internationally all over. Um, there's others represented here. In fact, many of the teachers here have international businesses. And it just started right in their community and it continued to spread. And so um, we're going to hear from, again, for some more teachers, we're going to stay in California we're going to hear from, go to Melanie Whitcomb. Melanie has, just like everyone else, incredible story with the products and the business. Melanie, will you share yours with us? Sure. Hi, Josh. Thank you for having me. Um, and hello, everybody. Um, I think I just have to start with my last year of teaching. Um, I did a lot of teaching for a lot of years. I actually um, taught in the elementary schools and um, actually did a lot of substitute teaching also for quite a lot of years, which was a fun challenge. And I had children's choirs that I directed with that had about a hundred kids in them. And that was every week. And I was a piano teacher and a wife and a mom. And I loved everything and didn't want to give up on anything I was doing. But my last year teaching, my health really truly began to spiral down and I couldn't stop the spiral. I went from feeling vibrant and energetic to having difficulty getting into a chair, let alone out of a chair. Um, I was having headaches that started waking me up at night. And um, I really, truly barely had enough energy to make it through the day. So I quit teaching and went to an hourly job at the university thinking that would be the answer. And that didn't help at all. And I went to the doctor and she said, I was just a mess. I was, I can't even describe, I felt like my 90 year old grandmother shortly before she died. Um, that's not an exaggeration. Um, but I started changing my lifestyle. I started eating better. I was eating good, clean, healthy food. I was taking supplements and I only got not even, not even 50% better. It was a pretty scary time for me. But then somebody um, at the university actually cared enough about me to risk and be brave and tell me that she thought I might want to hear this man talk. And I got a chance to hear about cellular nutrition for the first time. I had taught cells in fifth grade. This was awesome. I can understand this. It all started to make sense. And um, I just thought, but why is what, I, what I'm doing not working? And I learned that day that I was missing something very big. I was missing supplements that actually got into my cells not just into my bloodstream or into my body, but really truly into my cells. And so all I did is change over and my health began to change quickly. Um, in four months, I very unexpectedly found myself jogging across that university campus to turn in some paperwork. I was no longer awakened by headaches at night. And the best of all, the very best of all was I had enough energy to plop down on the floor with my brand new twin grandsons at that time. And um, the even better news of all of that is that just now, a week ago, I finished homeschooling them for first grade and I was their only teacher. They were not on Zoom and I did everything and we rocked the year and I started the four-year-old in preschool and had enough energy to do all this. Well, you can imagine business-wise, that makes a difference because people were seeing, they saw where I was, they saw 
where I went and what I became and what I'm still doing. So because of that neolife difference and what it did in my own body, so many other people have been able to be helped. And before I knew it, I was building a business. Never expected that one in a million years. Never thought I would be doing this. But it was truly the perfect business for me to be able to invest in my family and to grow a business at the same time. And I am so incredibly grateful um, for that opportunity. I, I homeschooled this year and I tell you, I invested my entire life in that. So my business sort of took a back seat for this last year and it still grew. That's, that doesn't happen anywhere else that I know of. So I am grateful for this type of business and everything that it involves. I'm grateful to get to help people and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your story. You. And uh, I know you also have uh, health professionals in your family as well. So, you know, mm -hmm. teach, yeah. you're a teacher, you're, uh, you're, yeah. you're also a health professional. Yeah. And uh, we will move along here in just a second. But why don't you just uh, give us a little, a quick glimpse, if you could, into uh, what that looks like for those who don't know your family. Um, just really interesting conversations. <laughs> My youngest son is a nurse. Um, so definitely in the medical field, but thank the Lord that we were, had Neolife before he started in that, um, very deeply because he got some foundation first. And so he's a different thinker because of that. My husband is a psychologist and we do definitely, even with all of the clients that I'm working with, we do a lot of things with emotional things as well, which I do really believe impact our health. And, um, really truly because of Neolife's science advisory board and because of the science that is behind everything they do, I got so excited about learning more. And that's why I went back to school. Can you imagine? I couldn't have done that 10 years ago, but I literally went back to school and became a certified nutrition consultant. And then that wasn't enough. And I went back and I actually went through a program to be a naturopathic doctor. And then I, that wasn't enough. And so I went on to be a complementary and alternative health practitioner. All of those things have just brought richness to my family and to my friends who are really a lot of my clients. And it's been wonderful to integrate all of those things. And I'm grateful because I probably wouldn't have been walking that path at all had it not been for my experience with Neolife and being able to learn from the science of what was going on and have the experience in my body. And then one after the other, after the other stories of life changes really quick within my first year of Neolife, just impacting my family, parents, who shouldn't be alive now. My mother and my in-laws weren't supposed to be alive now. And they are really well at 91. <laughs> my my father-in-law just turned 91 last weekend. So that's awesome. Um, they're on boatloads of meal life and it's what keeps them going. So yes. Good stuff. Melody, that's awesome. Well, folks, you see why people are so teachers are so successful in this business. Mm -hmm. They're about educating, they're about informing, enlightening people. And uh, that's what this business is all about, is offering solutions. And so you take the same skills you have in teaching and you bring it to saving, literally saving lives. We get to do that because nutrition is so important to help our body become the best hospital in town. So thank you, Melanie. And now we're gonna go to Jerry and Patty Kinder in Northern California, both teachers, Jerry and Patty. Hey, Josh, if you can hear me, um, something happened and I think we're going to have to sign back in. So if you want to skip us for now. Okay, sure. We okay, can do that. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to go to Georgia, my home state, to Cassie Stevens, a retired teacher. Cassie, are you there? I'm here. Awesome. Cassie, thank you for being with us today. More than welcome. And I have enjoyed every story that I have heard. It's been great. Uh, my name is Cassie Stevens. I have, I'm a retired elementary school teacher. I was in um, the classroom for 43 years. I loved every minute of it. So I, um, because I was a teacher, I did not have the highest pay grade. I often tried to supplement so I've heard some other people talking about that. I tutored or I did extracurricular activities or I did some different MLMs. Um, Neolife is not my first rodeo, so to speak, but it's definitely um, the best and the last one that I will actually do. 
um, um, I think it is the ideal business for teachers because it's a people business. Uh, Neo Life is a people business, even more than a product business. And teachers are around people every day they go to work, hundreds of people. So you've got your kids, you've got your teachers, you've got your staff, you've got your parents, you've got your grandparents. And if they don't know it, I know that they all need Neo Life. So um, I, I'm thinking also, I just wish I knew about meal life when I actually talk, because I envision just helping tons and tons and tons of children. They, um, they need the nutrition. So educating the parents about nutritional value and how it's key to their success as students, I think would be imperative. Um, getting them off of their sugary breakfasts that are pop tarts and sugar frosted flakes and even candy bars and giving them the gift of Neo life and saying they can have all their nutrients in a shake and a vitamin and the parents don't have to cook a three course meal would make the parents definitely happy and happy parents tell other parents. So they talk at ball games, they talk at ballet class, wherever the children congregate, they talk and spread the good news. So I, um, I, I'm just, yeah, wish that I had known about it when I was still teaching school. I also think grandparents, if you get the grandparents on board, they will see to it that their grandchildren have all the nutrition they need to be successful in school. Yeah. So from that standpoint, you are helping families, you're giving them a gift of life, of a healthy lifestyle, and you are making money at the same time. And that's just that's that's extra. So I think it's a win win. As far as retirement, I didn't start this until I had retired. But um, we started taking the products, we definitely saw a difference in our health as well as our lifestyle. The it puts me in front of people. When you leave from 600 people a day to one person a day, that's a big change. So it offers me the opportunity to be with people to help people to educate people. Um, the, we pretty much do it part time, but the extra money to supplement our retirement helps us um, go places, do things and help other people that we couldn't have done without it. So it's a win win still. Yes, Cassie, thank you. So beautifully put. <laughs> and uh, I love the point that you made about how this is everybody needs these products, including Absolutely. the students. And um, so y'all such a great point and there's so much to be said about that that we won't go into today but ask the person who invited you about the science behind our products because we have 62 years of scientific validation study after study and children need this as much or more than anyone and we've seen children's grades go up we've seen um children just drastic improvements we've heard tons of testimonies from teachers talking about the children that are on Neolife versus aren't on Neolife and the difference it makes for them, not just in their health and all, but also in their academic performance. So um, the, the, right. the, all 22 amino acid shake is absolutely critical for these young children to help stabilize blood sugar levels, provide the building blocks for building healthy bodies. And uh, so much of the borders that we see um, can be linked to nutrition. So, uh, so glad Cassie drew that link for us. And um, you also just made me think about my neighbors when you talked about how teachers know lots of people. <laughs> um, and as yeah, a yeah. former um, legislator, um, you know, I, I got to know a lot of people in the community, but it's interesting. My, my neighbors, they know as many or more than us and, you know, they're teachers. And so you're right, such an influence. And uh, they run into those people they know all the time. So there's plenty of opportunities, even off the job, to be able to touch the lives of people in the community and share something that you do part time with all these people who know, love and trust you. We trust you with our children. And so you got a 62 year old company you can trust also makes that perfect, perfect partnership where it does nothing but enhance your reputation. So, Cassie, you just got me so excited about so many points. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and next we're gonna go to Florida and we're gonna hear from Deborah Campbell. Now, Deborah is a school bus driver. And uh, while we're focused on teachers, teachers can't teach. 
if the school bus drivers don't get the children to the school to and to get to class on time. Deborah, are you able to join us? I think you may be out right now on the bus waiting. Are you there? Oh, and school bus drivers, Melanie said, they teach every day. Great point. In fact, we had a, um, we ran into that just recently. Um, a friend was telling us about what was happening on the school bus, and they said, we can't do anything about it. The, the school bus driver will have to get involved. Uh, some, some bad things happening on it and said, you know what? They have such an influence on our kids, the school bus drivers. So it looks like Deborah, there she is Sorry, there I was are on the bus. I am on the bus. <laughs> now you're not driving. I know you're not driving. So just reassure everyone that you're just parked. Yes, I'm parked at the senior high because we have early release for seniors today because they are graduating. Yay. <laughs> well, take just yes. a moment to introduce yourself and share with us why this is the ideal business for school bus drivers as well. Yes, I'm Deborah Campbell and I live in Lakeland, Florida. And I've been a school bus uh, employee driving bus for 21 years. And I do what I do because I love to drive and I love the children. I want to make a difference in their life. So it always gives me the opportunity, especially, you know, kids get troubled and stuff to have time to have conversation with them and maybe make that kind of difference in their life to alter their choices, you know, and, and I'm just empowered about nutrition with that because you know, I know nutrition makes a difference. Like Cassie had just shared about um, myself, I had um, been diagnosed in 2000. With some, so I'm very happy to share that. And, um, and the solution for me with Neolife is I didn't intend to start out because I've always had two and three jobs. I worked for the Salvation Army to supplement my income because as a school bus driver, I only get paid for 15 days a month here in Florida. I work for the whole month and I get paid for 15 days. So I've always had two and three jobs to supplement my income. And just so excited about sharing this solution with other people on how they can have better health and it can change their life financially. It's just grown. You know, you can't help but be excited about it. So little by little, my, my check just started growing and growing and growing. And last year, because of COVID, uh, I lost my position at the Salvation Army uh, because they didn't need me anymore there. They, they didn't have programs anymore for the children. And um, so it was a, uh, my income sur actually surpassed my school board income. And um, I'm, I'm writing this out. And when I retire from the school board, I'm moving into full time with Neolife. And I'm so excited about that because I also have a dream to have a, a wellness center here in Lakeland and work with the ESE children and the special needs children at the school and their parents that I, that I service on my job. And I just, I have a passion for them and I, I want to see their lives change and I want to see them have the most vibrant life that they can have, you know, as well. So with that, I'm exceedingly happy to get to travel the world with top leaders and go to Hawaii and, have fun and, and get rewarded for what I do. Uh, yes. You know, I, I got two retirement parties this past week with the school board and these people have worked 30 years here and they, they have nothing. I mean, they did nothing for them. They didn't have like this huge party in this retirement, but I like the fact too, that I have an, um, an arable income that I can leave my family. You know, that it's just not building for me, but it's building for my family's future as well. And I can leave that to them. And I'm Beautiful. just thrilled about that. Beautiful. Thank yeah. you so much, Deborah. Thanks for being with us and sharing your story. Folks, so many amazing stories from all across North America. And we're not over yet. We also, we have uh, an international speaker will be joining us in a moment, but not yet. We're going to go to, um, we're going to go down to, oh yeah, we're going international. We are going international. We're going to Canada for a moment. We're going to hear from Heather LaCroix. Heather, are you there? There she is. Heather, thank you for joining yeah. us. Where are you joining us from? Please share your story. Thank you for having me on to share my story, Josh. Um, so as, as you know, I'm Heather LaCroix and i um, I taught for 25 years in elementary school libraries and also in literacy and special education in high school. 
My husband's an engineer. And we have two daughters and four grandchildren. We live on a lake about two hours north of Toronto in Canada. So back in 1998, I'd been teaching for 14 years. I found it very stressful and I had no energy. I had no energy for anything in the evenings, no recreation or social time with friends. I was actually disenchanted with my job at that point. I truly enjoyed teaching, but I didn't like the job. I called it ruled by the bell. The income was there, it was good, but it was a ceiling. I was in my mid forties and starting to consider my retirement. If I taught for another 14 years, I'd be able to retire with a full pension, but that too was inflexible. I knew I wanted something more. I knew I'd want to travel, to go on golf and sailing vacations with my husband and to build our dream home. Physically and mentally, I wasn't sure I could take another 14 years. And then I met Lynn Mittenoff, a former registered nurse. She was actually a parent volunteer in my school library. Lynn saw firsthand how I suffered with stress and fatigue. And, and she asked me if I'd be open to hearing about some products that she thought would help me. So I said, sure. I started as a promoter thinking maybe this could be the business that would give me the flexibility I wanted. But I told Lynn, I didn't have the time or the energy then to do the business. After a few weeks on the breakfast pack and extra B vitamins, I had more energy and felt better than I had in years. It was like having more hours in the day. I couldn't help but share with my colleagues since many of them were feeling stressed and tired like I was. I earned a bonus check that very first month and I continued to receive monthly residual income. I love the tax benefits and I even retired three years early knowing that I had an alternate income source with unlimited potential. I am still an educator doing what I love. I provide information, skills and resources to help people on their wellness journey. And I teach them how they can start and build their own business to reach their goals. My husband and I go on golf and sailing vacations, and we break ground next month to build our dream home. I am truly grateful to Lynn for sharing the Neolife opportunity with me 23 years ago, and I'm committed to sharing it with others. Wow, that is awesome, Heather. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, yes, I'm so thankful that Heather shared Neolife. You hear this, y'all, constant throughout these stories. People grateful the person who shared it. In this business, you add a lot of friends um, when you just simply share these educational resources and they become educated and they discover what we have and then they're eternally grateful. And that's pretty cool. It's like a, you know, if only all of our students were as grateful as, um, <laughs> as all of our speakers today for the person who shared. But you know what? I know many of them are. Um, Heather, thank you so much for joining us. And now we are going to go out to the West Coast, uh, back out there. We're going to hear from Jerry and Patty Kinder. And then we're going to Kenya to finish the stories. Next, Jerry and Patty, are you there? I know you had to log out. So here. Actually, here we go. Just made you co host. There we go. Oh, perfect. Awesome. There you are. Perfect. Thank you. You, maybe he sees us. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we see you. So please okay. take it away. Tell us exactly where you are in Northern California and your story. Yeah, Josh, we're, uh, uh, we're here in uh, Napa, California. And I just want to say, uh, being toward the tail end of all of this, it's been awesome because yeah. our hearts have resonated with so much of what's been shared already. Uh, we relate to almost all of it, literally, uh, firsthand. And uh, so uh, we're just grateful for Neil Life. And uh, 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 our, um, we've actually retired, uh, back in 2015 from 35 years of teaching in a private Christian school where I also was the administrator at school. So we were very, very busy folks. It was a labor of love that we loved every minute of it. We loved the, all the aspects of what we were able to do with the children, the parents and the, the staff at the school. And, uh, privileged to uh, be with my lovely wife of 45 years all through that time. She taught the younger grades. I taught the junior high level. And uh, uh, we've been a team ever since, both with teaching in, in the school and now in Neo Life. And so uh, Patty's going to share. Yeah, you know, we taught for 35 years and uh, it really took a toll on our health, as others have said, because the demand is so in 
incredible when, when you teach. I had become severely depleted of energy, of vitality. I looked older, I looked haggard, I felt haggard. I would, after lunch at, I could hear myself answering intelligently to the students while I was half asleep. I could barely stay awake. And, uh, and then we had, and Jerry had back-to-back -back heart attacks the last year um, in, with, within three months. And his first one was so severe that they said he might not have made it, but he did make it. And we, uh, we spoke to Levon Vaughn, which Jerry will tell that part of the story to help him recover. But another thing that put stress on us is our school was private and um, not an elite private, but a, a not well-funded school, which meant our, our salaries were very modest, even within the teacher range of uh, salaries, and we had no retirement. So thankfully, Jerry was pretty um, adept on his feet. He helped us really live well within our means and able to save for our retirement. And in fact, we were able to buy a very modest home in a very modest um, neighborhood about three hours north of us. And I loved it. I was so excited, Jerry and I was too. We just poured our whole life into uh, you know, our future hopes and dreams and only to find that it burned. Um, you know, in 2018, because it was in Paradise, California, I was devastated. I would drive around for, um, you know, in my town and, and barely, <laughs> I almost had an accident a couple of times. I was just so shocked and, and, and stunned. But, but because of new life, we were able to recover. And Jerry, why don't you tell about that? Yeah, so we actually uh, found out about new life through, uh, uh, our, our church where Von Von came and spoke. And uh, so we were introduced by uh, a, what I would consider an excellent teacher herself. And so that was awesome. And, and I was thinking about that. that, that the two parts of teaching, uh, it, it's, it's informational, but it's inspirational. And Levon combined that so well. And, and what happens when you do that is you are able to, uh, cause people to uh, take steps of action. And that's the key, I believe, uh, to good teaching is not just informing, but actually getting people to move forward with the information that they've learned. And so uh, what I saw in short order was my wife being transformed uh, into a much healthier, more vibrant uh, version of herself. And uh, it was almost as if the clock was being turned back. And I, I loved it. She loved it. And then, of course, my own uh, journey, uh, health journey, uh, I was on a pretty full regimen of products and within about a year and a half. And so uh, we had only one option left after that. We realized, you know what, we can't just uh, keep this to ourselves. We need to begin to share this with others. And so that opened up the door uh, to uh, the whole business opportunity. And like Josh, you said, we were fortunate. We had quite a few friends and people that we knew through the teaching profession. And uh, th that was key because uh, the trust level was already there. And I think that's huge in this business. When you earn or have people's trust, uh, th that, that is half, you're halfway there, mm -hmm. at least halfway there. So uh, we built a, a, a solid, stable business that has grown and a uh, uh, consistent stream of income uh, with our car bonus. We love that part of it. Uh, mm -hmm. And what's been really nice is we thought we were going to have to move to a much less expensive area because we are in a pretty expensive area here in Northern California. But uh, the Neolife income has helped us close that uh, uh, expense to income ratio so that we've been able to stay here in this beautiful Napa Valley. Uh, and actually, it's in the home that Patty grew up in. Uh, that we are buying uh, from family members as we speak. And uh, uh, we, we, we absolutely love it. So, uh, and, and you know, uh, Josh, one of the things that, that we love early on and continue to love about the, just the Neolife culture is it's clear that there are teachers from top to bottom who, have, who are lifelong learners, 
who love to teach and inspire others, Jerry, Kendra, yourself, Josh, I, it, the list goes on and on. The, the SAB board members, John Miller and, and Liz Applegate, among others, they, they're amazing. Uh, they, they, again, they don't just educate, they inspire. And it, the tools that you uh, have available for us uh, uh, and, and the educational opportunities for people to attend the conventions, the rallies. Yes. Uh, uh, then you've got the leadership school, the, the, the Neolife University online. Uh, and all the PowerPoints, by the way, as a teacher, uh, that's one of the ways, the primary ways that we built our business was the PowerPoint, Josh, that you had developed. And we used that one-on-one -on -one with dozens and dozens of people and had wonderful success with that. And, uh, and, and, and it, uh, uh, yeah, it just exciting to, uh, as others have said, to be able to help others and see their health transformed as well. And, and now we're focusing more and more on on helping others build a business of their own. And that's been exciting also. So this is our uh, post teacher retirement. Uh, uh, it's our new ministry. Yeah. And boy, have we made some wonderful friends, uh, both inside the business and those that we have signed up that we didn't even meet until, you know, maybe months ago, and they've become some of our dearest and closest friends. Uh, and we've been blessed to introduce uh, missionaries and pastors and people in similar uh, professions to what we were in. And so, and we love the aspect of, of uh, teaching from home. It's awesome. The, the Zoom thing has opened that up and, and it fits with our, with our lifestyle. Uh, we also have two aging parents. They're both 95, uh, Patty's dad and my mom. And then we're also have the responsibility of caring for this three acre piece of property that God's blessed us with. So we're busy folks, but we yeah. love the, the, the neo-life part of our life. And we would recommend it highly to any yeah. teacher for sure. Yes, thank you so much, Jerry and Patty. All right, folks, we, um, we're gonna wrap this up in just a couple minutes, but we're gonna last but not least, um, we are gonna go to Isaac Nangu in Nairobi, Kenya. Isaac, are you there? Isaac, talking about an international business, not only is he, you know, around the world, but he has a large business right here in the United States that are crushing it. Josephine, Marangu, and Rachel, uh, congrats. Great to have you with us. Please, Isaac, will you just quickly share your story with us? Yes, yes. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate uh, the, the, the welcome. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to talk to fellow teachers. I'm really excited about that. Uh, my name is Isaac Ndungu. I, I am a high school teacher. And uh, I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you well. Wonderful. You're coming across clearly. Thank you. Wonderful. I am a high school teacher. And uh, I was born and brought up in a town near Nairobi, a little bit far from Nairobi, uh, in a place called Ithika. Ithika is a town not very far from, I mean, quite far from uh, Nairobi. And then I was brought up in a village setup. And I am a married man. I am married to Purity and we have three children. Our firstborn is 15 years. And uh, our acting lastborn is in grade three. And uh, I got to get to, to know about this business as I was teaching. Because as I was growing up, I was told by, by my parents to go to school and to work very hard and I was told if I worked hard, I would get very good grades and these grades would translate into uh, a good job. So, and I believed my, my parents and I believed my teachers and I did exactly that. I worked quite hard. Finally, I got myself into the university and got a chance to be a teacher. Now, when I started teaching, something happened. I found teachers in the staff room that were just about to retire in Kenya, you, a teacher retires at 55 years. I, I, I'm sure it, 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 it changes with different countries. And uh, I found teachers that were just about to retire complaining how it had been. I don't know about other parts of the country or, or other countries, but uh, in Kenya, teachers are not very well paid. So I found them complaining and they are on their way to retirement. And I knew I would follow the same. I would actually start complaining by the time I would be retiring. 
So there was that need, deeper need that I was feeling that I really wanted a change, something else that I could do, but I didn't have one at that moment. And um, I, I said, continued working. I got a transfer from where I was working to another area, still teaching in high school. Uh, and uh, I got an element of um, that frustration. And many times I would really be very tired because I was covering a lot of um, kilometers, a lot of, uh, you know, I, I, it was a long journey to my working station and I would get very tired, but I worked very hard. Twice, I was, uh, I, was, um, I, I was actually recognized as the teacher of the year, two times. But now people never knew the frustrations I would have. And many times I would get home really tired and actually angry. I, I, for whatever reason, I, 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 my temper was really getting short, especially when I would get into the house. It was actually from the frustration. And I was feeling the dreams I had when I was growing up would probably never be realized in the teaching. But I continued teaching because I didn't have any other thing. Now, I, I was feeling like my life was ebbing away. It's like what I was doing was not never going to amount to much. And I was feeling squeezed. The kind of the life I had, I, ha I had anticipated, having gone to the university, having ha having even gone for the second degree, for the, the master's degree, uh, just to make sure that uh, my my you know my, my 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 salary increased a little bit. I realized that I may never really realize my dreams. Then something happened, and I really want to thank God that somebody spoke to me. Actually, a university lecturer told me about a business I could do alongside my teaching. It was a great relief. So I embraced it. At first, I also had my own doubts. So because I had been used to explaining adjectives and nouns and, uh, you know, and, and the literature books. And then all of a sudden, I am talking about TNN and Omega-3 and Karl Marx. Uh, it was a shift. It was a real shift. And that I could do a business now. So I embraced the business, but I had those fears. And then, of course, the staff room, the staff room talk. And many people would talk in the staff room, the the, my colleague teachers, and they would say, oh, we th this business, we know it. Y you know, here in Kenya, when you tell somebody about um, a network marketing, a number of them will tell you, oh, we know it. We know this. We know this. This is the business of selling, of, of selling medicine. That's how it is. Uh, some people put it. And I was, and I, I, people, would, you know, uh, my colleague teachers would tell me, this business can't really help much. You know, there isn't much you are going to expect from here. And I remember my first check was only $13, $13. Now that is quite a little amount of money, uh, even here in Kenya, $13. And then uh, my second check went to uh, $290. That was quite a reasonable amount because by then, more than two ninety dollars. What would happen with that? What, what, what I meant by that, of course, I'm sure this is universal. When you get employed, you have the, 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 the gross salary. And then when the deductions, the taxes start, by the time the, what you take home was so little. So by in my second month, my check with Neo Life was actually higher than my net I, with the TSE. TSE is the body that, that, that employs teachers in Kenya. I was so excited. I already knew there was something else I could do. You could see it's like my life came back. You know, I was really excited and I continued to talking to other people, the teachers around me and the people outside now the teaching. So after teaching for a, for a while, I, I became a software director and becoming a software director meant I would start now, you know, going to this place and the other now, you know, the, 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 the lifestyle with Neo Life. And uh, in Kenya, you cannot keep on asking for permission that you are going out, especially outside the country this month, and then you are doing it now next year around the same period of time. That is not very much welcome. So uh, I, the, the, the amount of money had now become consistent and the, the, the check was good. So I had actually to leave teaching and embark fully now on, on this. And... Um, New life really gave me back life. Just as the name suggests, new, new life, new life, for me it is new life. It is simply give me back life. And um, what happened is that the people that, I, that joined my team, some of you may know probably some like Grace Chege, she was a parent 
a parent that was taking care of a child in uh, where I was the class teacher. And because she would send sometimes, we have a, we have a money system here, you, have, you can send money through phone, called M-Pesa, because she would sometimes send some money to me to, so that I can pass the money to the, to, to the daughter. That's how I got her number. And I invited her for meetings and Grace Chege stayed for six months before joining my team. But finally, after the sixth month, she joined. And the rest, as we say, it's history. That is where we have Josephine Marango, our, our upcoming Ruby director. We have, uh, uh, we, 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 we have Rachel Miner, Rachel Miner, my friend, and a colleague teacher, a, a, and, and so many others that have actually come up. So that they put me now, my business now left Kenya. Basically, so to say, it left Kenya and now got a base in the, in the US and of course in Europe. And I'm really excited. Um, what I have seen is the business really started small. There were days I never knew that it would come to this. And the frustrations that were there are no longer there. I am so happy now. I also started using the products differently. And recently I posted a picture. I think Caesar, Caesar may have seen it. My friend Caesar Galaza may have seen it. And, and comparing the way I was when I was teaching and the way New Life has, the, the farthest that New Life has brought me. So I'm really excited. I wouldn't want to, uh, to exceed my two minutes. I know I have already exceeded, but the future really looks bright for me. Now, especially with Zoom, I am no longer now contained in, in Nairobi and in Kenya or in East Africa or in Africa. Now I can easily reach out to so many other places outside where I am. So I'm really excited. And once again, I really want to say thank you for giving me such, such an opportunity to also speak in the hearing of uh, other teachers. It is such a, you know, it is such a kind of, it, it, is, it is such, um, you know, a consoling moment. Thank you very much. I really want to stop it that so that I don't start explaining a number of teacher books. Awesome. Isaac, such a privilege to have you with us today. Thank you for thank being you. our special keynote uh, speaker today, mm. all the way from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, we love your team. It's been a privilege getting to know them. We're looking forward to being with them in convention. And uh, they are crushing it here in the U.S. and uh, being such an inspiration to so many both here and around the world. Isaac, we look forward to seeing you uh, hopefully shortly at one of the international gatherings um, conferences coming up. So we'll look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, folks, we're going to wrap this up here in just a moment. Uh, so grateful to that you all have uh, joined us today and uh, spent a little, little time hearing from all of these speakers. Uh, hopefully it's put a spark in you to take a further look, to check out this amazing business um, that we believe, as you've heard from all these speakers, is truly the ideal business. Now, I'm going to just quickly cover a couple questions you may have. And, uh, and then I'm going to encourage you to get back with the person who invited you to learn more. But you may be saying, well, the business sounds amazing. Are the products, are they really needed? And I think that question's been answered. And I just want to add just uh, a little further to that, that the reality today, and this is um, nearly, this, these statistics are very similar all over the world, that heart disease and stroke and cancer and diabetes are accounting for the majority of deaths. In fact, in the uh, North America, three out of four deaths caused by these, for the most part, diet-related diet related preventable chronic diseases. In fact, a 27-year global diet study came out saying that what we aren't eating, what we're missing in our diet is killing us. And as we're missing these whole grains, the essential fatty acids that are cr critical for cellular health, we're not getting enough fruits or vegetables, nuts and seeds and omega-3s. And so you may be asking, well, I know Neolife has a solution to that, but is it affordable? Is it affordable for teachers and for everyone else? And the reality is, yes, it is. Just our Pro Vitality Pack, which is the foundation for good health, provides the nutrient equivalent of all of this, all of this goodness, whole grains, fruits and vegetables and fish in every box. You take a single packet and all of this, four products in one, is only $1.62 per day in the U.S. And, um, just slightly more there in Canada. So very affordable. And in fact, we even have the option where you can get your products for free by just referring others. The next question people ask is, well, are the business startup costs reasonable? 
And absolutely, in fact, you can start a business for less than $100 in the US and Canada. That's amazing. That, you know, no wonder so many people are being drawn to this business. In fact, even myself at the age of 18, I could scratch up, you know, nearly $100 to start my business and is the best investment I ever made. And you've heard that over and over today. Um, with that, you're going to get your own business kit, promoter kit. It's going to have everything you need, tools, resources, and even an app where you can sh just simply share educational resources. You don't need to be the you, know, you don't need to be the uh, message. You can be the messenger to just share and send these short little videos, brochures, educational resources, and it will even notify you when your friend opens it, when they watch it, so that you can then follow up and answer any questions they have. So we have all these tools, all these resources that you get in your promoter kit for less than hundred dollars. We also back all of our products with an unconditional money back guarantee. Now that's really nice because for all of us, for you as a customer, if you decide to start there, well, you have no risk. Try the products, 90 days later, not happy, get your money back. As a business owner, when you share these products, you have absolute confidence knowing they have everything to gain and absolutely nothing to lose. I love that guarantee. Finally, you might say, but can I really make money? You've heard over and over from all these individuals from different walks of life, different backgrounds all over the world say, yes, yes, you can. And here's just a quick little glimpse. What would $1,000 a month look like? Well, if you were to go out there and get 12 customers, okay, that's like a customer every three days. And they can order direct from your website. You get your own website, by the way, also. Your own personal website when you start your business for less than $100. No one can do that. You can't go start, create a website for less than $100. <laughs> it's amazing. But you get that and you share it. And you get 12 customers. And then look for three people who could also share it with a handful of people. Now, you don't have to do that. You could have all the customers yourself, but it's a good idea. Help a couple of other teachers, help a couple of other friends earn some extra income, and you would be earning over $1,000 on average with just that size of business, okay? Now, maybe you're, have you ever thought, if I was just given a chance, if I just had a chance, I could succeed? Well, now you've been given that chance, and I'm so excited to be a part of offering you that chance. We're so thankful that someone shared this chance with us, with my family, and with, um, with myself. And that ended up touching me at 18 years old, starting a business that's provided for our family. So three options you have as you get off of this, as I see it. Um, you might say, let's do it. I'm ready to get started. And I want to protect my health and launch my business today. In which case, I, I, I'd love to say, welcome. Welcome to the Neolai family. I can't wait to see you at a future getting started training. I can't wait to see you at future events, you know, and incredible vacations around the world that you can earn for free. We're going to have a lot of fun. But the other option is you might say, B is I don't want to earn extra income, but I do want to try the products and get the amazing benefits that these products provide. You know, with cl clinically proven products published in the top peer reviewed journals around the world. You know, you don't have to guess and hope and wonder you can absolutely know these products deliver results and we guarantee and back it up. So that's B. Option C is you could say, no, thank you. I'm not interested, or at least not at this point. And that's okay too. We've done our job. And that's what all of our business partners, that's, that's all we do. We just simply educate and inform and then you make the decision and we love you and appreciate you regardless of what decision you make. But if you decide to get started, I look forward to meeting you. Please get back with the person who cared enough to invite you and just let them know where you're at. And uh, we have a, uh, a lot of, again, incredible resources if you want to learn more about the products, the business, or both. Ask about those video links that they can share with you. So take care. And I want to thank all of our guests, our speakers. Thank you so much for giving your valuable time to be here with us today. I wish you the very best. God bless. Until next time. Bye-bye.